Oh, got it. Thanks. I got new details on the NSA spying scandal. The New York Times reports the National Security Agency has implanted software on 100,000 computers around the world. That gives them access to the information on those computers. It creates a global highway for cyber attacks on our part. There are also reports that the NSA is using a secret technology that allows them to implant this software onto computers that are not connected to the Internet. All right, Judge Napolitano is here. You got a problem with this? Oh, my goodness. Anybody who believes in the Constitution, anybody who believes in the natural right to be left alone... The natural right to privacy should have a problem with foreigners. This. Well, why can't we? Look? A, it's a very interesting, very interesting step to to foreigners. Theoretically, the Constitution regulates the federal government wherever it goes. But as a practical matter, the attention to its interference with the natural rights of foreigners, particularly a foreign government has been lessened and the court has basically said that's a political issue if you don't like the president toying with foreigners elect a new uh, president but if the president toys with americans that's an issue okay. for us well it, in in this particular case i can understand the argument if the chinese military yes is offensively interfering with our use of the internet why not engage in cyber warfare against the Chinese military? That, that's right. the argument that right. the NSA... Uh, and that's, that's why they're, I'm, they're, I'm told that the NSA did this, implanted this software into those Chinese army computers because they were coming after us. But the problem is that the implantations, no doubt, are not limited to the Chinese computers. The, the software that has probably, probably, because we don't know the true answer to this, because the NSA will not reveal what it knows. The NSA wouldn't even tell the two judges who ruled on it everything that the judges asked of them. Very, very interesting. Most, most judges will not accept silence for an answer or will construe silence against the person being silent. We don't know that the NSA has not done this to the rest of computers, including computers in the United States. The NSA has mastered the art of hacking. And okay. hacking okay. is a federal crime, no matter who does it. But, and they have mastered the art of hacking computers all over the world. You might argue to me, I am willing to tolerate the NSA staring back at me when I'm sending you an email from my home at 9 o'clock at night in return for keeping me safe. I would argue the Constitution doesn't permit that no matter the gain. Okay. Well, do you have a problem with the NSA implanting software in computers in China to see what they're doing against us, because I, I have no problem with that whatsoever. I don't even believe there's a constitutional argument right. against that, okay. except that a governmental entity with that kind of authority, operating in secret and answerable only to the president, will not restrain itself just to those foreign countries that wish us harm. It so will go point. to from those who wish us harm, to those who are neutral, to those who wish us well, to us. Okay. Uh, General uh, Petraeus, when he was running the CIA, acknowledged that they've hacked into computers in, micro, in microwave ovens and in dishwashers so that they know when we're in our kitchens using them. Well, you've got to find out which rinse cycle I'm using. <laughs> sure. Yes, the government, has to, the government has to know that. I'm making a lot. Hold on, hold on. I've got to, I've got to get another uh, subject. Okay. You know how we are. Uh, another subject. Yes, yeah, for you. <laughs> uh, it's not just the NSA that's tracking you. We know that. Okay. Retailers are now using a cell phone to track your daily habits. Let me explain this one, Judge. Sure. As I understand it, you walk into a restaurant, you pay the bill with a credit card, that restaurant manager, using this either gadget or software or whatever, now knows a lot about you via your credit card and what your credit card number has told that restaurant. What That's does it know tracking. about me? Uh, did I go to a nightclub later? How many drinks did I have? What did I do? Well, that, that is a violation of my right to privacy, not perpetrated by the government, but right. perpetrated by Amex or Visa or MasterCard, whichever card no, I the use. the software or the, the prob the... Uh, well, no, 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 no. A MasterCard, Visa, Amex, whatever card I'm using, has a legal as well as a moral obligation to safeguard that information. So if somebody's come up with an app that lets a guy at a restaurant figure out when is the last time I used that credit card, the credit card company is inadequately protecting me. 
Okay. okay. Along okay. the same and line, I have I a just... cause of action against them. I may even have a class action <laughs> hint, hint plaintiff's lawyers <laughs> against them. <laughs> for hundreds on the of same line, though, Judge, your opinion on this Google uh, acquisition uh, you know, of the thermostat company and the idea that they're going to be in every, every, no, every facet of our lives, a private company, not the government, but a private company. I mean, is, is there anything in the Constitution about that? Or is it just we're up, everything's up for grabs? Well, now you almost sound like uh, Woodrow Wilson and uh, Theodore Roosevelt, who, who feared railroads 100 years ago <laughs> uh, becoming too big and bigger, uh, bigger than the government. I, I suppose the only argument you could make, you both might make, is at some point I will not be able to escape Google. Right now I can escape it and not do business with it and keep my private uh, business away from it. But at some point that might be impossible. Wait till the Google gets into the drone business. They're probably already in it. <laughs> They're probably in it. Judge, fascinating stuff. If not stuff. them, then Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> fascinating stuff, Judge, and we really yes. appreciate it. Pleasure. As always.